This is a major problem in the black community. We got politicians who look at tragedies and crime and say, we're making progress. Instead of saying that this weekend was a direct outright massacre, Black Lives Matter and all these race hustlers have been deceiving and lying and getting money. Instead of saying that, Instead of just telling black folk, black folk, we need to have a talk. This is you. This is your fault. I know a lot of you black folk don't like it. I'm looking at some of the comments right now. You ain't nothing but a coon. You ain't nothing but a house. Nigga. Yeah, yeah, you always say that when somebody tell the truth. See, what you want people to do is brush over what's going on, act like it's not happening, so you can feel good about yourself and your drug dealing brother, your gang banging sister and your tricking mama and your cross dressing daddy. That's the problem in the black community. No morals, lack of personal responsibility, lack of initiative. But I want you to hear. I just want you to hear what this superintendent said. This man said that Chicago made strides and progress, not because over the 4th of July weekend. Now, now, now I want y'all to hear this now. They did make strides because they had no shootings. Nope, 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 nope. That's asking too much of the black community. See, that's asking too much of the black community not to shoot and kill each other. Because the white man gave them the guns, so they got to kill each other. It's not saying it was a good weekend because it was only maybe three shootings. No, 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 no. This man said it was a great weekend because it was only 56 shootings and nine people died. Yes, a police superintendent in Chicago, and I'm going to show the video, said it was. There was also significant improvement. I still think that we did a, a great job overall. You can't say that to the people who lost their lives, that we did a great job, but the effort was there. Police say between Friday morning and Tuesday night, 57 people were shot in Chicago. That's compared to 91 last 4th of July weekend, and 9 were murdered compared to 19 last year. It was a good weekend. We, uh, 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 you know, of course it wasn't good to the people who died, but we had a good weekend. 56 people shot, 9 murdered. Then, uh, 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 uh. You had a block party on July the 4th and another mass shooting and somebody shot, what, 11 and four died. So you had a total of 62 people dying with, excuse me, 13 people dying, 62 shootings. And that's a good thing. You see, you see what's the problem of the black community? These Democrat politicians, yeah, it's not all the same. It's not all the same. And you people who say, we need to come together. It's not Democrat or Republican. Yes, it is. It's only one side that is Democrats. There's only one side, black voters. One side, black community. Whenever someone is telling you, it's a good thing that you only had just 58 shootings, just 58, and only nine died. That lets you know the expectations they have for the black community. Black community, you should be up in arms and, and, and going, calling him coon, house Negro, and everything in the world. Because this man looked in the camera and said, Chicago made progress. They only had 58 shootings. And nine people died. But them people in Inglewood had to ruin it. 
with their mass shootings, which add, what, nine people shot, four more people dead. Now you see black community. It's nothing but the deep seated racism of low expectations. And too many of you black folk is comfortable with low expectations. That's what white liberals expect of you. Low expectations. There was also significant improvement. I still think that we did a, a great job overall. You can't say that to the people who lost their lives, that we did a great job, but the effort was there. Police say between Friday morning and Tuesday night, 57 people were shot in Chicago. That's compared to 91 last 4th of July weekend, and nine were murdered compared to 19 last year.